Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Gaming with Galadia. We're going to be continuing the Minecraft survival adventure today. Uh, so where we left off last time is we got the nice little villager breeder wheat farm going. Uh, and today I've decided that I am really sick of running back to my original base to keep getting wool for things. So I am going to venture into the nether. So in order to do that, uh, you need a diamond pickaxe and a bucket of water to make finding obsidian easier. So I'm going to grab that and then I'm going to head back to my igloo and down to the basement where I am going to make a new mine. So... My apologies, I might fast forward this next chunk. I think I'm going to make a mine right over... I think I'm going to dig my hole down right about here. So, yeah. I'm going to cut out for a little bit and speed this up, and I'll be back shortly. Okay, looks like I found a cave system down here. Um, actually, I'm going to explore this a little bit and get what I can out of it, light it up, and then continue downward. Okay, this looks like a bigger cave system than I was intending, so I will come back to this at a later point in time. Okay, so now that I've made it to the bottom, I, I need to find some lava, so I'm just going to head straight out from this point in a too tall tunnel, uh, dropping a torch every five squares. And again, I'm going to speed this up, and I'm just, I'm just continuing on until I find some lava that I can mine. And there is the first gold of the world.
I'm definitely gonna have a lot of iron by the time I find this lava, apparently. Oh, and there is some lava. Awesome. That would be a successful mission. I'm just gonna dig out around this and make this a little bit easier to mine. So my bad, fast forwarding again a little bit, but this should be short. Okay, so now I got a little bit of this lava exposed. I'm gonna try to find a good spot to drop a water bucket to turn this lava into obsidian. Okay, so now that we have that taken care of, I'm gonna put a couple torches around so that stuff doesn't spawn and kill me. And then I'm gonna grab my diamond pickaxe and I am going to start mining out the subsidian. Okay, so you need about 12 obsidian for a portal, and I'm going to need to be making, oh, definitely more than one portal. I, I, yeah, I think I'm going to have to, yeah, I'm going to have to make three portals. So, yeah, I'm going to be mining obsidian for a little bit here. Uh, but I'll get back to you once I've got enough obsidian to continue on. Okay, so that should be enough obsidian. I've got 43 of them, so hopefully that should be able to get me to the nether okay. And I'm going to come back and deal with all this uh, coal later on. I just didn't want to collect it without Fortune 3. Because Fortune 3 just makes everything so much better. So until I get that, this is probably going to be the end of my mining for a little bit here. But 
I'm all set up and prepared for next time I need it. And so the question is, where do I want my nether portal? I might actually want to make my nether portal down here. I'm kind of liking this igloo life thing. I can't say I've ever lived in an igloo before, but... Yeah, I kind of feel like it. Oh, and that opened it right into a cave. Well, I'll try to keep that in mind for later. Oh, and I just did that. Oops. I know I didn't need to fix that, but I really didn't want to be like, I forgot my corners. Okay, so I'm going to head up and make a flint and steel now. And try to light this nether portal. Uh, okay, there's some iron and... I really thought I got some flint. Do I not have flint? Oh, my flint must be back at my other base. Whoa, good lord. Okay, I'm gonna sleep. Too many bad guys out there. Not gonna... I wish my bed didn't throw me outside. It's kind of a weird way to wake up. Like, here you go, congratulations, you're outside now. I do have a furnace in here. I'm gonna cook up my iron, I guess. Okay, so now can I find any gravel? Or do I have to run back? Oh, there's some. Will there be flint somewhere in here? Whoa. Oh no. Creeper. Ah, stop it, bud. Oh, I think that was my piece of flint I wanted. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, yes it was. Awesome. Okay, now that I got a flint and steel, I'm gonna head back down and open up this portal. And since this is gonna be my main home, I'm just gonna go straight through this one and guess see where we end up. And we are in the nether. Oh, and right by a bunch of glowstone. Oh, that's not a bad spot to come out. I like it. Oh, okay, definitely. 
Definitely a fan of where that came out. Well, I will be back there in a little bit. I got a couple things I got to take care of first. Like finding my way back to my other base. So I am going to wander off to my other base so I can make another another portal and I will be back shortly. Okay, so I have made it back to my starting base. And I'm not really sure why I'm even keeping this going, but I guess I will just for fun. I... So I think I'm... Trying to figure out where to put my nether portal. I think I'm just going to put it back here. I don't think this has to be anything crazy or cool at this place. Uh, so I'm just going to put my nether portal here, I guess. Okay, so there is my nether portal. I'm going to really quickly take a screenshot of my coordinates and then run back to my other base. So I'll be skipping ahead a little bit, but I'll see you again when I make it back. Okay, so before I run off, I remember one thing I forgot. I need to actually light this portal so that it's active, so that when I come back to it through the nether, it should come out at that one. So on that note, I'm for real running back to the other base, and I will be back shortly. Okay, so I made it back to my base, got some coordinates for my nether portal. I got some cobblestone to build a path with. I think I am ready to try to attempt this. Okay, so I need to find negative 45, negative 21. So this is negative 45, and negative 21 would be that direction, it looks like. So I'm going to start digging until I find it. So going to negative 21. I'm not sure if this is still going to be true after the nether update, but at the moment, you don't really need armor or anything for the nether. It's pretty easy to avoid the enemies that actually come at you, and like the zombie pigmen and stuff like that. They don't, they don't even attack, so it's really not much of a risk of death here. Other than moments like this, where you're just above a huge hole. So I'm going to try to do this really quick and hopefully I won't die because I definitely hear a guest. Well, that's a problem. this approach. I feel like this is about to be immensely, immensely dangerous. Okay, I think I got that. Guess we're about to find out. Oh, 
that was so close. Best intentions don't always work out, unfortunately. See if that works, maybe. Hasn't spilled over yet. So I'm back to trying to do this really quickly. Uh, I had to run out of cobblestone. Awesome. Almost there. So 45. Five and twenty-one is gonna be my magical spot. Okay, so that is it. So I'm gonna really unsafely build this, I guess. A uh, personal recommendation is to, you know, maybe be a little bit more careful. It would be very easy for me to die right now and lose everything. So just to make sure I come out of the safe, I'm going to put a little too wide walkway around this, I guess. Even though this is still just completely open and exposed. At least this will be safer than nothing. Could still get hit with a gas fireball to the face the second I come out of this thing. But problem for another day. Okay, and now it is time for the moment of truth. Did I put this in the right place? Oh, it looks like it worked. That came through my portal. They are linked. They are connected. That is awesome. I no longer have to do the super long boat ride back over here. And that means I'm going to grab some wool so that I can get my farm back up and going a little bit. And then I will be wandering back. So I'm either going to speed up or skip through this part not really sure but i'll see you again in a sec Okay, so I didn't have my shears, so never mind. I guess I'm not going much of anywhere other than back. And this is a really dangerous path. Okay, so since I'm in the nether, I would like to be able to build some comparators here in a little bit. So I'm going to try to mine up some nether quartz uh, and see if I can find any nearby. There looks like a little patch. I don't want to mine too much of it because it'll be a lot better once I get some uh, Fortune 3, but having a little bit on hand could be helpful. And yeah, you can function just fine in the nether with stone uh, and iron tools. I've it's actually almost easier than the overworld. Everything just breaks so easily here. Okay. Well, that should be enough to get me started, so I'm gonna go back through here. And I'm not really 100% sure what else to do 
do. So I think this is probably going to wrap up the episode. I accomplished the goal of making it to the nether. I've got a little uh, beginning of uh, another hub started. Uh, let's check on these. No, 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 no. You don't come out. You go back in. No, buddy. Buddy, not cool. Go back in, yo. Go back home. No, no, no. That's not cool. Uh, is it the wrong time of day or something? Like, why are... No, not you too. Both of you? Okay, I guess I will sit out here and defend these guys until I can put them back away. Hope you go to bed soon. I do not want to lose you two. That would be really, really, really not good. What time of day is it? Uh, where's this? Okay, they should be going to bed shortly, so hopefully they remember where their beds are when that time comes. Oh, come on, guys. Please go back to bed. I do not like how far away you are. You're getting... Can I push you back to where you need to go? Okay, that's right, guys. Go back to bed. That was a mistake. I'm sorry. I will never let you out again. I always like to have iron doors on these because it is not good when your villagers get out. So I use iron doors and buttons just so that I can't accidentally leave one open. Okay, everyone. Well, I guess that's going to wrap up this episode now that we got a little bit of nether travel started and uh, some quartz. So, uh, till next time, everyone have fun and enjoy. And if you enjoyed this, remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time.